International business consultants partnering with Scaled Agile are excited to provide this hands-on end-to-end demo of SAFE DevOps. To set the stage, we have an application which currently supports two products, Raincoats and Rainboots. When a customer selects a product and then requests it, it then is routed to the layer store. Now the store with the help of an access code loads the product to an autonomous vehicle who then delivers it to the customer who also receives an access code to accept the product. Now recently there has been a lot of requests to add an umbrella to the list of supported products. Hence the product manager writes this feature in puts it into his program backlog. Most likely as shown in this picture the various teams in their PI planning would then plan to deliver this feature. This picture also illustrates a lean architecture using microservices which makes rapid delivery possible through loose coupling. Here the product manager is uh, we're going to show how the product manager writes an effective feature in Jira. Okay if you see here the product manager has written a feature with clear business hypothesis and leading indicators. More importantly, the acceptance criteria is written using a sy Gherkin syntax, which looks very much like English, but it supports the BDD framework using Behave and Selenium, as in our case, the coding language is Python. Here, Unlike the traditional way, here the quality engineer work with the team to left shift testing even before development. The cool thing with this is that the quality of the story is way better refined and we are able to left shift and catch a lot of defects up front. Okay, now let us demonstrate test automation using Selenium. Okay, now when we go ahead and execute the test script okay watch closely as the browser is going to be launched the test case is automatically done and then the results are displayed okay now if you see here all the tests are passed, all the steps have been passed. Now let us explain behavior driven development using Gherkin syntax. Okay, the quality engineers, unlike the traditional development, are going to work with the team to left shift testing way before development. How is that? If you see here, the acceptance criteria is copied by the testers and then they generate a file called the feature file where they literally paste the acceptance criteria. Now they would be writing test cases to make this acceptance criteria or the feature file work. If you see here they have a given when then and they have test scripts literally mapping to the feature file or the acceptance criteria. Now obviously because the development has not been complete, we expect the test results to fail because the product has not, the new product umbrella has not been onboarded. Let's see. So unlike the previous case, we expect now to have test cases fail. The product, if you see here, there are only two steps to pass right when the product was supposed to be selected as an umbrella, if you see here, it just failed and the remaining steps were skipped. So this explains how testing can be done even before development is completed. One by one as the developers begin to complete their pieces, the test cases will begin to pass, just left shifting the whole process. All right. Now let us demonstrate test driven development. Okay. So in this full path here, we finished the BDD and now we are going to to test driven development using NOS2. The main difference between 
behavior driven development and test driven development is that in BDD the testing is executed based on the actual behavior of the system from an end user or customer's perspective. In TDD the testing is written to check the implementation of the functionality from a developer's angle. For example, in the feature file here, the first line from a functionality or an end user angle is to see if the customer is able to reach the home page. Now, here in the, I'm going to show you how using the nose to framework, how test cases are written. If you see here, there are two test cases. One is a positive test case and one is a, a negative test case, both written to see whether when the user goes to the page, whether it is returning a 200 code, which means that the server is up and a 404 code message should be not be there because if a 404 message is there, it means that the server is not uh, responding with the necessary information. As the development is complete, the various developers have worked on their pieces of code to support this new functionality of Umberla and they are going to check in their code. Now, to see that, let's see how they're going to check in the code here and they're going to add the code to the git. They're going to commit the code. And here, please note very carefully, they are using the same story number from the Jira. This is very important because soon you will see, this is very important to make sure that there is a clear trace traceability of the story to the code to the build and back to the test cases and the up necessary approvals for continuous compliance all right now the story is committed and then it is going to be pushed to the source code repository all right now git is a source code repository which basically maintains the full version control okay let's go ahead and see if you see here it makes sure that there is full version control is making sure all the commits are tracked and it emphasizes the importance of everybody working on one feature branch or a trunk branch and multiple teams in this case we have two people from two different teams working on the same trunk branch now the minute a uh, successful git commit is done after make, if it is catered it automatically triggers a jenkins build now you would see here that the build has already started and it is going ahead finishing all the integration tests finishing all the integration build now it is triggering the static vulnerability test then it is um, next going to trigger all the necessary uh, vulnerable dynamic vulnerability scanning results from Trivi um, for the container securities then it is going to prompt for a approval to be pushing the code to stage this is very important to make sure that there is continuous compliance and segregation of duties properly controlled let's see all right if you see here our pipeline is now ready for us to approve the code and go to stage because all the previous tests are successful now if you see here again it is requesting permission to see if we are ready to deploy it to production and all these approvals are tracked using logs all right now you will see that the various code changes made by the various team members here to support the umbrella has been deployed to production but let's go and see our app if you see our app we see that umbrella is still not showing why is that because here we want to demonstrate a concept called decouple deployment from release okay now how do we do that let's show you through a functionality called feature toggle okay there are various reasons why the code is not yet be ready 
or the functionality is not yet ready to be given to the customer. Now whenever the business is ready to roll it out to the customers, using this feature toggle, a small configuration file change can be done, then it can be, this new functionality can be released to the customer. Okay, let's see that. If we now go into our application, let us make a small configuration change. Okay, a small configuration change has been done. Now let us go ahead and push this change. Let's go ahead and make the necessary approvals. We are approving it here and let's just release it to all the customers. Okay. So when the uh, feature toggle and is being deployed, you will see that the various services are going to the endpoint um, and the containers get deployed in production to the Kubernetes clusters. And you will see that the endpoint is now deployed. Yes, if you see here, the functionality is now deployed to all the customers and they should be able to Yay, order the product. Okay, now I also want to go ahead and demonstrate some of the other continuous security and continuous compliance functionalities. So let's go into the Sonar Cube and go and look at all the various security checks which were done. See here, there have been four bugs and the rating of this code is only B. So now we should be working actively to go ahead and fix these static code vulnerabilities. And the static code vulnerabilities are done by going ahead and comparing our code to the various uh, rules uh, which is defined. In our case, because it is a Python program, we, we need to select Python and these are all the various rules against which the static code analysis was done all right now it's also important that we go ahead and see some of the dynamic code analysis let's go ahead and see now to do that we are going to check the dynamic log files using trivi if we see that here it demonstrates all the vulnerabilities and classifies it by the criticality, high, medium, and low. So hence, demonstrating continuous security. All right, now I also want to go ahead and demonstrate continuous compliance by showing that for each and every um, you know, code commit and the build, it is tracked against the source. For example, we had this feature IBC 25 where if we go and look at all the git commits for this particular functionality immediately shows up here. That way we can go ahead and make sure that there is proper traceability. Also here, if you look at the builds, it goes back and ties each and every build against and the various approvals and logs tying back to the feature, making sure there is continuous compliance and documentation of all the necessary tests and the required approvals, just by hence demonstrating continuous compliance. All right. It also makes sure that all the document artifactories go and get logged against Docker Hub. Folks, hope you enjoyed this full end-to-end hands-on demo of the Safe DevOps. The final message is that Safe and DevOps work hand in glove to make sure that there is develop on cadence and synchronization and release on demand. Thank you for listening. Let's go build awesome products.